And across the nation, there is a push for police departments to better manage mental health crises. And now federal money will help place more mental health clinicians with Metro officers. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live with the details on this. Aaron, since uh, the initial program launched in 2021, the city has been reporting really positive results. Yeah, Rebecca, they tell us that 41% of the people that they encounter through this program, they do suffer from a mental health crisis and they have some good news to report. 96% of those folks, they are connected with a mental health professional and only less than 40% are actually arrested. Now, this program is being used by officers in two precincts north in Hermitage. Now, the pilot program connects individuals and in mental health crisis to care and services while ensuring the safety and well-being of community members and first responders. Uh, the program came in handy just this past Tuesday at a standoff between police officers and someone having a mental health crisis on North Crest Drive. A mental health liaison was on the scene, in this case, assisting officers. And this is just one example as to why Mayor Cooper is excited about recently being awarded federal technical assistance to support the development of the city's non-law enforcement model of response that will complement the Partners in Care pilot program. Now, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration Gain Center selected Nashville to participate in the Learning Collaborative on Response Models. The center will conduct a countywide strategic plan to develop the service and in time for deployment at the end of 2023. Now, the mayor's office plans to put a committee together to guide this process, and he will be pulling people from that program that's already in place and put them on this committee to make sure that when it is officially launched, it goes off very well. And again, they're planning to launch it at the end of 2023.